All right, what's up? Story time. Story fucking time. Oh, I'm sad. All right. Number one. Number one. I have not slept in four days now. Four and a half days, actually, it is now. However long it's been, it's been a while. So I am out my goddamn mind. I just drank three, four, three, three of those triple gulp. My hand is actually shaking right now. Three of those triple gulp energy drinks. Two monsters, one rock star. Holy fuck. So, story time. We all love story time. Oh my god. So, remember how excited I was about having a job? I guess I'm going to get paid. I'm going to have my money. I'm going to... No, I'm not. God damn it. I mean, like, I'm better. But what I was... What the person who did my interview never mentioned to me when I went through all this shit is that you don't actually have this job yet. I mean, like, what he said was, like, look, you don't actually have... We're not actually going to start paying you until we know you want this job. So you're going to follow this dude around who you're going to be working for and see how he does his job. You're going to learn. You're going to learn everything. You are going to, um, you're going to learn from him, figure out what he likes, what he wants you to do. And from then on, you know, as long as you come back and say like, yeah, I have no problems doing any of that. I would be glad. I would be happy to work for you. As long as that happens, then I got the job. That is what all the implications seem to be to me. And today, I have found out that is not the case. Today, I have found out that I should I should look at talks. Hey, hush up! This is my moment, puppy. All right. <laughs> I hope you heard that because that was funny. Um. Hey. So. I would beat up Yoon because I fucking hate Yoon. I want to beat up this color Yoon. Yoo-hoo! All right. I told you I'm zany as fuck. This is gonna be a weird. This is, this is gonna be some weird shit. that's gonna happen. So, what I found out today is that I don't actually have this job yet. There's actually another person that this dude is doing the same thing with tomorrow. That, um that is doing the same thing they're gonna test out too and then he's gonna pick which one of us he like better and then give us the job so i don't actually have a job yet i don't actually have a job yet i'm pissed because now i'm back to the whole oh god you know like just overthinking everything like shit if i don't get this job what the fuck am i gonna do which honestly i don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do if i don't get this job because i am at the end of my goddamn rope the good thing is if I don't get this job, I can cancel my order on Record of Augurus War Zero, because Amazon.motherfucking.com is a piece of shit not shipping that shit to me when they should have. Assholes. So anyway. Oh! Oh my god, I cannot begin to describe how much this sucks. Shit, I completely forgot. You know what? It's two half circles, isn't it? Oops. Oh, that's right. It's a half circle to even do that move in the first place. I, fr I keep forgetting it's a half circle to do that shit. That was the wrong way, half circle. How far can you do that shit from? It'll still hit. Oh, it didn't actually hit. Hey, it went right through him, but it didn't actually hit. Alright, so... It's like Berserker Slash, almost. There's a certain point where it won't cross up. I'm gonna be a master of that shit. Alright, sorry, distraction. Um... So... Yeah. <laughs> so whatever it is you people do... I know you guys are ve you guys are very peoples, so I don't know if you're Christians, Catholics, whatever you believe in God, pray for me. If you're a numerologist, consult your numbers and do whatever the fuck it is you do there. If you're a Scientologist, call up Tom motherfucking Cruz and tell him to give me his job. I don't know what it, whatever. Just do whatever the fuck. If you're if you if you are if you are something whatever whatever it is you do whatever religion you are, do your thing. And get me this damn job. Because <laughs> I need it. And if I don't, I am going to just, like, I'm going to just jump off a bridge and end my pain and suffering like that. Because fuck this shit. Can't take it anymore. So, yeah. There's story number one. Story number two. I decided to do my usual thing. And, hey! I said this is my moment. Shut your mouth. 
So I decided to do my usual thing and just, you know, omit training mode in Street Fighter. I was like, eh, whatever, I got this. Hop online. People aren't that good. I'll just jump on, start playing, right? Right. Turns out that was a bad idea. Because number one, I mean, number one, here's, here's the thing. I'll get to the funny story in a bit. The first thing is that I thought all of Oni's pokes were pretty bad. I mean, like, actually, I never I never experimented with that one because that one actually looks pretty damn good. That one looks good. But the rest of them, they don't really look that good. Like, his jumping ones really aren't overly good. Um, this is, like, the only... His jumping medium is, like, the only one that actually has a decent hitbox in the air that I found other than, like, this being a good... These being great air-to-airs. But, like, actually coming down on somebody... The jumping medium was the only one I found. But then I figured out, every single normal he has is kind of like Dulcium. Except I think all the Dulciums you have to hold back for. All of his normals have different versions of them. Like, if you look right here, he's doing all those with his left hand. And then all those... Well, actually, that's not, that's not consistent. But see how he's doing all those with his left hand? Now, see, if you hold forward and do them, he, does complete, he has completely different normals. He does all with his right hand. And they're a lot fucking better. Same thing with this. See, there's his regular one. There's that. There's his regular one. There's that. Regular one. That. I was not aware of this. So I thought his pokes were ass. And now that I had found that out, that's just completely shattered my thoughts on him already. So there we go. Go ignorant me. Fucking that shit up. So anyway. So, story time. The first match I played online was against this evil Ryu. And for those of you that are not aware, Evil Ryu has, well, he has two Ultras. You should be aware of that. One's a Fireball Ultra, one's like an Uppercut Ultra. What I didn't know is that his Uppercut Ultra, much like Dudley Super, and I'm sure everybody has either had this happen to them or they have seen it happen to somebody who was ignorant to the properties of those two moves, like in Super, with Dudley, with Dudley Super combo, Dudley does two Uppercuts... And then he kind of like pauses and you're like, oh, I mean, the first time you see it, you're like, oh, it's over. Time for me to punish. And then out of fucking nowhere, he slams you with a third uppercut. Out of fucking nowhere. And you're just like, oh, well, don't I feel like an idiot now? That's what happened. Evil Ryu's uppercut ultra is like that. I wasn't aware of that. And the bad thing is, if he hits you with that third uppercut, he gets the full animation for his ultra. So I blocked the first two and I'm like, oh, well, shit, I won't blow this motherfucker up. He's almost dead. I had like 50% of my health left. He had like 10%. I'm like, ah, easy combo. I got this. I'm going to kill him. And I get blown up by a third hit and die. Apparently Oni doesn't have much health. Because he died from like 50%. And that made me sad as hell. I was so sad. Like, I mean, you can't even get mad about that. You're just looking at it like, fuck, I am retarded. Like, it just, it's just, oh. Well, that was a bummer. So, there's the, uh, there's the second story. So anyway, I, I don't know, well, okay. Third story, actually that's why I forgot, that the second match that I did, I was actually playing this dude who was not good. Let's just go with not good. He was one of those people, because now my, all my points for AE are reset, I don't have the points that I had in Super, which is a good thing, because I suck. So it's a good thing to start over at Ground Zero. But, I am playing, I am also playing people who are at that point level. And when you get at that point level, you either have, you know, people who are good but just haven't played, you know, haven't played ranked. So they're just, they got to rank up first a little bit. Then you got the people who, like me, are still learning. So, I mean, they're dropping all their combos and shit, but they're trying. And then you have the people that just don't give a fuck and just do, just spam uppercut all day long. And that was what my second match was. The dude, on if I jumped, uppercut. If he woke up and I was next to him, uppercut. If he jumped in and did something, like did a jump in attack and I blocked it, he would do an uppercut afterwards. So the first time, the first, every single person, like the first round this happens, you at least get hit by it a couple times. And then you're like, oh, it's one of these people. Okay, I get it. Then you start to bait and punish it. My problem was that I suck. So, he was just mashing that shit out in the middle of combos. And I was dropping all my combos. So, I just kept getting blown up left and right. I ended up losing the first round. Second round, I was like, alright, 
I know I cannot complete my combos. I know what this dude's gonna do. So I'm just gonna draw, I'm just gonna purposefully stop doing the combos at the point where I get sketchy on them and let him go nuts and then I'll just punish him over and over. So I blew him up the second round. The third round, once again, like the other one, like the first tale that I described to you, he had like maybe 20% of his health left. I had about 60%. I can't even remember what character he had. I think you I actually think he was playing Oni too. Um So this dude does wake up ultra and I'm like, ha ah, ha little bitch, I'm blocking that. And my stick was like, ha ah, ha little bitch, I'm not gonna work on you. So it, it stopped registering the direction I was actually holding in the middle of the ultra animation. So I got blown up by it and I died. Which makes me real, real fucking sad that that happened. I ended up, I lost, I mean, I just lost. I, I died from that hit. And, yeah, like I said, I was real goddamn sad over that one. Like, it's just, I mean, I, I understand now the problems with my stick. If I hit buttons too rapidly, it doesn't seem, it doesn't register the thing that's weird is that it's consistent. It never registers the third button press if I hit it rapidly. The thing about it is, though, is that there are, there are no combos, at least with the characters I've tried out, that require button presses rapid enough to fuck it up. It's all in Marvel that that happens. But that's why in all the random videos, you see me going like, what the fuck, no heavy came out. Because I hit light, medium, heavy, and then launcher, and it skips the heavy and goes straight to the launcher. And at first, I was kind of, you know, like, okay, I don't really know these characters very well, so this could entirely be me. But then I play, I got a match with Wolverine, and obviously I think I kind of know my Wolverine a little bit, and I never got a heavy out in the middle of the combo, not once. So it just doesn't see, it's, it cannot register inputs hit in rapidly, and I think that's what happens is that when I'm like, when I'm blocking, like when I'm in a corner or whatever, you know, when I'm here, that eventually. It stops registering that, like for a split second. And because in the middle of an ultra animation, it going away in that split second means it goes away until that ultra animation is over. And I get blown up for it. That's what I'm assuming happens. And like why I get hit by random hypers and that kind of sh Oh, excuse me, and that kind of shit is because that happens. So anyway, um, for now I have... I think like maybe nine or ten more of those Blaze Blue videos backlogged. I have two Marvel random videos backlogged. So I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that I can last off of those and not play anymore on this stick and really hope that I got the job because I busted my ass today. And the thing was, I busted my ass not even knowing that I was in competition with somebody else to get the job, and uh, thankfully the dude was like, hey, man, I mean, you busted your ass for me today. I really don't see why I wouldn't hire you, but we gotta give, we gotta give this other person a chance, and who knows, they might be a goddamn superstar. You know, I mean, I don't know that. I don't know this person. For all I know, they could be, you know, five times better at this than I am. I don't know. But I'm really hoping, because like I said, I busted my ass. I got along well with the dude. I really liked him. I'm pretty sure he liked me. So... I think I got a good chance, but anyway, it's still, like, it's still up in the air, and I am scared. So, yeah, um, anyway, that's the status. If, basically, if I get the job, then I'm gonna try to hold off on playing fighting games until I start getting a paycheck, and then hopefully I can buy a stick before I need to record any other new videos. Of course, the problem with that is I'm gonna need to get it delivered, because I don't know any retail stores that, um, stock either of the sticks that I'm looking at to begin with. So, that's kind of an issue. But other than that, I mean, you know, hey, just cross your fingers and hope for me, because I'm crossing my fingers and hoping for me right now. Um, yeah, I don't know, I should be, I should find out by tomorrow afternoon, hopefully. Just, I am pan, I am panicking on the inside so hard. Because I really fucking need this job. Oh, man. So yeah, there's there's Nate Aristata's fucking status update on four days of 
not sleeping. What is wrong with me? Actually, you know what? That is wrong. I have slept in four days. I slept... No, wait. When did I get that call? I have slept... No. Man, that was days... See, that's how... I am thinking about the time that I did manage to get... Some... No. See what I mean? My mind is fucked right now. Okay, what happened was... I got the call to set up what I had to do today. On Tuesday? It was on Tuesday. And I had finally, like, passed out, just dead. And then I wake up to my cell phone ringing, and I, you know, I jump up immediately. Like, I'm wide fucking awake because I've been waiting, you know, I'm waiting for the call to set this up. So then, you know, I pick it up, I talk to him a bit, I look at the phone, it's been 15 minutes since I passed out. So I've had 15 minutes of sleep in the past four days. I am a liar. I have slept. Take that, world. You can't keep me up for four days. Unless I don't sleep again for two days. What the fuck is wrong with me? God damn, I need to figure this shit out. Because this is not healthy. This is not healthy. I'm going to be dead by 23. <laughs> like, and my 23rd birthday is... Two weeks from now? My 23rd birthday is two fucking weeks from now. I'm going to be dead by then if this shit keeps up. God damn it.